After 17 years, a Billings veteran will get some information that will help him and others involved in a biological weapon testing as part of the Project SHAD during the Vietnam War era. The bipartisan legislation was signed by President on Tuesday after passing with help from Senator John Tester and Senator Jerry Moran of Kansas. MTN's David Jay talked with U.S. Navy veteran John Olson. President Trump signed a bill containing the Gary Deloney and John Olson Toxic Exposure Declassification Act, co-sponsored by Senator John Tester. It's uh, very satisfying. It's been a long haul. A long haul. John Olson started asking in the year 2000 for records that would help doctors treat him. He says his 35 to 40 diseases and ailments came after exposure to biological and chemical weapons on tugboats near Johnson Island, 1,000 miles southwest of Hawaii in 1965. I don't know for sure, because my medical records are locked up. Olson says he may have been exposed to 18 biological weapons and has received limited information. Well, the two on the data sheets are uh, serratia marcensis and tularemia, which is rabbit fever. After the tests, they used chemicals to clean up the biological weapons. Beta propylactone and formaldehyde. We were using it by the gallon. Anyway, when you clean something up so good that there's nothing left in there, no living item at all, that's the way we left it. Well, doctors can better help him if they know the weapons and chemicals, he understands why they had to keep the information classified. There's been a lot of military secrets that we wanted to keep, even those of us who were out there. The details, I don't know. I doubt if I ever will. I'd like to, but uh, it's not going to make or break me. In Billings, David J, MTN News. Olson says he expects that his copays will be reimbursed soon. As for the records, he says it may take as long as six months.